Hello and welcome to MahindraGuru.com, the Brahmas for success and you are watching the weekly bulletin. In this particular show, we focus on the top headlines of the week. Well, let's see. But before that, it's a request from our side to subscribe our YouTube channel for awesome videos like uh, the, the weekly bulletin and the guidance guru. Well, let's see the first headline. Urjit Patel appointed as the 24th Governor of RBI after Raghuram Rajan. Now, at this point of time, Urjit Patel is the Deputy Governor of RBI and he would replace Raghuram Rajan. He also was the head of the Monetary Policy Framework Committee. Well, the next headline. Again, RBI. Reserve Bank has retained the systemically important bank status of the public sector banks State Bank of India and private sector bank ICICI Bank for the second consecutive year. Now in this particular section, the DSIB stands for domestically systemically important banks. Those are those banks in the domestic banking market which are too big to fail. If those banks fail, perhaps the entire banking structure would fail. So those banks have to maintain a maximum 1% over the, ba the minimum basic uh, basal norm requirements. Well, let's see the next headline. Andhra Pradesh became the first state in the country to launch DNA index system DIS for DNA profiling of criminals. The system uses the latest DNA technology tool developed by Intigenex of the United States. Well, we hope the other states also pretty follow the same manner in which Andhra Pradesh has done. Well, let's see the next headline. Bollywood stars Shah Rukh Khan, Amitabh Bachchan, Salman Khan and Akshay Kumar are among the world's highest paid actors of 2016, raking as many dollars as Hollywood heavyweights Robert Downey Jr. and Brad Pitt, according to a Forbes list topped by wrestler turned actor Dwayne Johnson. Well, it's a heartening sign that these actors, these Indian actors are at pace with the other Hollywood stars. Well, let's see the next headline. If the actors are uh, in the list, Actress Jibab Padukone is the sole Indian actress in the world's highest sole Indian uh, actress in the world's highest paid actresses 2016 by Forbes with a net worth of 10, do 10 million dollars. While the list has been topped by actress Jennifer Lawrence who earned 46 million dollars in 12 months. Amazing. Let's see the next headline. Shatla P.V. Sindhu and wrestler Sakshi Malik will receive the prestigious Rajiv Gandhi Khel Ratna award along with gymnast Deepa Karmarkar and shooter Jitu Rai. Star cricketer Ajinkar Rahane will be conferred on with the Arjuna award. Well, we hope that these stars including the ace shooter Jitu Rai, uh, the, uh, the ace Shatla, the, the, silver, med the silver medal uh, winner uh, P.V. Sindhu, bronze medal winner Sakshi Malik and the close fourth in the gymnastics event Deepa Karmarkar would make India pr proud in the coming years to come as well. Well, let's see the next headline. President Pranam Mukherjee launched Akashwani Maitri channel for Bengali listeners and its website, an initiative which will provide a platform for blending content both from India and Bangladesh and preserving Bengali culture. Now, this is also in interest of enhancing the uh, cooperation between India and Bangladesh. Let's see the next headline. Actor Kamal Hassan has been chosen for the coveted French honor of Chevalier Award. Now, uh, France has been very uh, kind in terms of awarding Indian stars, for example, Shah Rukh Khan. Next headline. An Indian-Canadian Sikh cabinet minister, Bardish Chagar, was sworn in as the new leader of the government in the House of Commons, becoming the first woman to hold the position in the Canadian Parliament. So not only we are winning medals uh, in uh, Rio, but, uh, but, uh, but, Indian, but uh, the Indo-Canadian women has also become the first to be the leader uh, of the government in the House of Commons. Next headline. Two Indian American, again women, have been selected for the prestigious White House Fellow Program that offers first hand experience of working at the highest levels of the US federal government. We wonder, we wish to work in this particular prestigious state building, but these are the selected few to work uh, to, be, uh, uh, to be the fellow members in this uh, state building. Well, with this, we come to an end to our discussion. We hope you like the important 10 headlines of the, of the previous week. We also hope that you are following the weekly bulletin because it is the sum up or the summation of all the important things that mattered the previous week. With this, we come to an end. Your success is our success. Thank you so much.